today is Sunday. I spend a lot of time on weekends just making things um, for the shop opening soon. Uh, and what I've mostly been working on today are these um, wristbands, or not wristbands, um, keychain wristlets. So all of these are iron pressed and have their interfacing in them. Again, it's technically not the right interfacing, but I did a lot of tests with it yesterday um, to make sure that it would work, and it does. Um, so currently my next step is to sew all of these and add the hardware, which I will try to have you come along with. I just don't have a tripod that works currently. It broke a while ago. I just haven't replaced it yet. But yeah, this is the Singer Heavy Duty. Um, my husband got it for me for Christmas. Not last year, but the year before. It's my baby, my pride and joy. Um, but we are making two of the... Um, keychain wristlet thing so this one it's like honeycomb gray with little honeybees on it and then there's this one which is black or gray or whatever color you want to call this background i believe it's joanne's it's technically a gray but um and it has little flowers on it just to be kind of simple okay so forgive the angle uh, i figured i'd want to use both hands for once um but you're propped up on my sewing machine uh we finished these three Woo. Um, I think it's one of these guys, and I'm not very strong, so I think I might start having my husband help me with it. Um, so next, all we have left are these three, which I'm going to be using, I think, white thread for. I kind of want to use gray, but I think white would probably be better. I'll let you know when I'm deciding. But we also made... Not my background. Ugh. We also made one of these, which if you go to my TikTok, you'll see me making it. Um, I think I'm going to try to include the clip here. Um, I'm going to try to work and complete a loose uh, size large cardigan. Um, I have a specific sizing chart that I've created to reference for like standard, loose, and oversized. Currently, it's I'm trying to aim for a loose large because if I do that, then it'll be technically an oversized uh, small or medium, I believe, from the sizing chart I have. Um, or it'll just be a standard extra large. Uh, or 2x. I, have to, I want to work on um, reorganizing my yarn. I know I showed you, it's over here, but I know I showed you that wall of yarn in the last video. Um, I do have a whole nother chunk of it on my table that's just all cotton yarn that I want to deal with, um, slash put away, slash find a better home for. Um, and then I think that'll be it for today, hopefully, um, of things to work on, but I'll definitely update you as I continue working on things uh, and let you know where I go from there. Alrighty, see you guys soon. Okay. I'm back. I finished all three of the, all three of these. Um, it's got this cute little bee pattern on it. Um, the only thing I'm not a big fan of when it comes to this bee pattern is that the bees are so far apart from each other that it like, there's only like one or two bees on the entire thing. Um, but I also kind of like that because it makes it a little bit more discreet looking. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna put my sewing stuff away, put my iron and stuff away. Um, and then I'm going to work on um, that second bandana and uh, let you guys know if I have enough yarn or not. <laughs> we did it. I was able to complete the second bandana of the same pattern. Um, I have a little bit left of each of the yarn. Um, so I'm going to try, I think I'm going to make an inverted one this time because I do have a lot more purple than I do of the pink. Um, I will let you guys know how it works. But yeah, I'm hoping I can get two inverted out of it. I really don't think I can. Um, if I run out of this pink though, I think I'm gonna try to go back to Joanne's either tomorrow or sometime next week to um, either get another one or get like the full size one. Cause again, these are the uh, Big Twist Petites. But yeah, see you soon. Okay, so I'm working on the inverted uh, bandana currently and I'm making them two at a time, it's just easier. Um, and I'm finishing the second row of the pink, which will be the final part before those picots on the edge. And this is how much pink I have left. This is, this is a real, real game of yarn chicken. Um, let's find out if I make it. I did it. I only have that much pink left, but I was able to make two of them. Um, I should have plenty of purple, hopefully, to do the uh, border ties and pico edge. Okay, so I was able to finish both of the inverted bandanas. I haven't done the ends yet. I'm probably doing that tomorrow. Um, but I was able to do both of them. I quite literally 
had the exact amount of yarn. I had this left <laughs> of the pink and purple. Um, and then I have a decent amount left of the other four colors. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I thought about making um, like little octopi or something to make us freebies. I don't really know. Okay, so as you can tell, my camera's all hooked up now. I bought a tripod. Um, today I'm filming another TikTok uh, from the yarn from those bandanas. I have these three. I had orange left as well. Um, but I decided, because I was bored last night right before bed, to find an octopus pattern. So I'm making a bunch of these tiny little octopi. I won't focus on them. No, no, get off my face. There you go, you can see them now. Bunch of little octopi. Seeing how many I can make with the remnants of each of the skeins. And we have a couple of these dual guys that are gonna happen. He's the first one so far. He's really cool, he's orange and yellow. It kinda gives Magikarp vibes. Um, but I have a feeling we're probably gonna get like four more from each of them in total, or three to four from each of them in total. So I'm thinking like 12 of them. Um, which might just be a fun little like thing I drop in the first like 10 orders I get, or um, I just have them as a separate listing. I'm thinking if I do have them as a separate listing, I'll have one B for like the solid colors and then one B for any dual colors. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on for today so far. Okay, so um, I don't really remember what I said in the last clip because that was like six hours ago, six hours ago or something. Um, just finished dinner. The only thing I've really worked on today is the little octopi. I've made two fully green ones. One that's yellow and that with a little bit of green. Two full yellow ones. Three orange ones. Ah, they all kind of have different size eyes because I got randomized. <laughs> and then we also have a yellow and orange one. Um, last night I made a blue one for my husband. And then um, I have a little bit of green left, so I think I can get one more out of it. Um, do that's fully green. Um, if not, it'll have a little bit of blue like that yellow one does. And then I think I can get two or three out of the blue. I'm not 100% sure. Basing off how the orange went, I think it's going to be three minus like a little bit. Um, if that's the case, I have a tiny bit of purple left that I can use to finish off as well for the final blue one. Um, but that's all I've really been working on today. Uh, oh, I also made, hold on, I also made one large octopus, slash, I really just used, I think it's the Loops and Thread, um, Sweet Snuggles? Yes, um, the Sweet Snuggles one, it's the, like, teal-ish color. Um, I had some pink from a previous project I was working on, one of the fuzzies. Um, and then these are 30 millimeter eyes. Let's get it to focus. There we go. These are like 30 minute millimeter eyes. I'm not the biggest fan of them, just because they're really hard and clunky compared to some of the other safety eyes I've used in the past. Um, they're just part of a bundle on Amazon and I needed certain sizes. Um, but other than that, that's all I've made today. It's just a bunch of octopi. Um, I've added them to my tracker for um, just current products I have in stock. Um, I do have a Joann's order coming Thursday. So I'm either going to make that its own video or just lump it into this one. Um, and then I also am planning on making another video that's um, kind of just everything I have made so far and where I'm going with it all. Um, but yeah, so that's it for tonight. So today, not March 2nd, April 2nd. Um, and last night I was able to get through 14 total octopi. They're not all in here, so they'll get lost in my bin. Um, one of them's not in here, there's only 13 in here. Because uh, my husband has one of the blue ones. Um, sorry, my lighting is terrible. There we go. Um, my husband has one of the blue ones, and he said if it sells, I have to make him a new one. But if it doesn't, it's his. And I was like, that's fair. Valid. For today, I'm not really sure what I'm working on, other than I made two more of these teal guys. You know, my lighting sucks. I made two more teal guys. 
so we have, oh my gosh, three in total of the teal. I was able to make three of them from just one skein of the Loops and Threads Sweet Snuggles. I was surprised I made three. I thought I would need a little more. I thought I would need like some of a second one to finish the third one. Um, but yeah, so today's plan, I don't really know. I don't have a real plan today. Um, but I think I'm going to work on prepping some more wristlets because I found a bunch of fabric in my stash that I think would look cute as wristlets. Probably just going to make like one or two from each of them, at least temporarily. My lighting is so terrible. I think I have an idea to fix the lighting. Ooh. That helps. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think I'm only going to make one or two each of those colors, even if I, if I even start them today. I'll probably start those this weekend. Um, I don't have D&D &D this weekend, so I can probably do them then. Um, I think currently my plan is really just to look at my stash and see what else I have to make. I finished updating my Etsy listings, so currently they're all accurate with what I have in stock or what I'm like finishing. But yeah, that's kind of it for today. Um, I'll let you know if I have anything else happening or you'll see me tomorrow. Okay, so today is the third. Um, in that last clip, you saw me ironing some of the fabrics for the key fob bracelets. Um, I ironed probably like six of them, six fabrics. I, but uh, today's plan is to start cutting those out uh, and either start cutting them and just leave them cut so I can work on them over the weekend or uh, possibly start sewing them as well. Um, just kind of have to think about it. But yesterday, um, I ended up making two more octopi. We have this one. He's pink. There we go. He's pink. Um, I don't know if I should give him, like, a red blush. I don't have a lot of the this plush sweet snuggles yet, or left currently. Um, but I was almost thinking, I have some, like, light gray and I'm like, would that look cute? I don't know. I think I'm going to test it on this guy and go from there. Um, or I'll have to use uh, like a couple of strands layered together of like normal acrylic yarn. I just don't know how well that'll look with the plush, uh, with the sweet snuggles, excuse me. And then I also came to a decision yesterday. Whoops. I made another one of these like little multicolor scrap octopi. There we go. Um, but I think I decided anyone that I can make in one full color will be listed. Uh, and then anyone who's multiple colors, or even if it's like that yellow one where it was like just the bottom had green on it, um, I think those will just be like little freebie guys I toss into any mini octopus order. Um, I think that'd be cute. But yeah, that's everything I made yesterday that I didn't show you guys. And so today, I'm going to do those wristlets. I'll try to get a video of, of sewing <laughs> the wristlets. I just don't know if my tripod will get the angle.
you guys didn't see this, but, uh, or you kind of will. I cut, uh, three different colors. I cut, this is, I don't know why it's showing up, like, more purpley. This is more of, like, a Cinderella light blue color. Um, we cut up this one. This is showing up way darker than it should. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it, other than, like, this little blue, like, branchy bits. I don't know. And then you have this pink paisley pattern. Again, it's showing up orangish when it should be showing up like fairly like hot pinkish. Those are the only three I cut tonight. Um, I was going to cut more, but then I kind of chose not to. Uh, but what you missed was I over tightened my tripod and had to grab pliers so that I could untighten it. Because that's what I would do. Not even my husband could untighten it. I don't know how I tightened it so tight. Anyway, um, so I cut those three fabrics. Uh, I meant to mention earlier that uh, I made this week's little task list. I don't know if that's focused. Not really. You can't read any of that, can you? No, you can't. So this week's uh, task list is um, I need to complete this guy. Hopefully, we're getting pretty far on it. I think I only have six or seven repeats left on it. So that's kind of cool. I will have to get into a new ball of yarn because I'm almost out of that one. But um, I also need to film the Joann's unboxing whenever that comes. It's supposed to come tomorrow, but I'm scared it won't arrive. I started editing this video that you're currently watching um, today. And then I'm planning on this video ending for Friday. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. Um, I think I'm planning on filming like a weekly vlog thing and uploading that every Saturday and then maybe every once in a while or you know every other week or something there's an extra vlog or extra video um, but I am planning every Saturday at least a video probably a vlog style one like this one um, but yeah other than that uh, I don't really know what plans I have I don't think I'm gonna do any sewing for these guys today for these. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any sewing today for them. I just don't feel like dealing with my sewing machine, bringing that out, setting it up, having to switch the bobbins. It's just, it's a lot to do right now. <laughs> so I think instead, I'm gonna try and get through this whole little basket bin, ba a tie, I don't know, what are these called? Bag? Bag's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through this whole bag throughout the next couple weeks. And just making the little octopi because uh, like I mentioned in my last clip I think any random one that has multiple colors those are just gonna be freebies I throw in whenever someone orders a mini octopus um, and then maybe or I'll do something uh, it's either that or I will do something like every X amount of dollars spent you get a free octopus or something and it'll again just be the random ones um, but yeah so I think that's the plan for the rest of the night is just to make more octopus octopi I usually would have put this in a video, but my dog, he's really needy. Um, he's got some issues, but I have this extra, like, tub, and I just put his bed on it so he can sit with me because he's being a little extra and, like, clingy today. Um, but yeah, I just thought you guys needed to see this. Okay, so, um, as you will see sometime next week, my package finally came today. It was so exciting. I had so much fun. Um, I filmed the unboxing of it as well as organizing my yarn stash to be able to put it all away. This is just some of it. Um, but yeah, so I did that. And then today's main goal is to finish the Viber shawl. And I came up with an idea last night. And I decided I'm going to have essentially like mommy and me bandanas with a twist. I don't have any kids. Um, but I have my dog and he's my little man and I love him so much 
but wouldn't it be cute as fuck if I had a bandana and he had his own matching one? We could be little twins, it'd be so cute, it'd be perfect. I currently am finishing this one. This is my bandana. This is made with the Lily Sugar and Cream, um, what is the color called? The Sonoma print. It's my favorite of the Lily Sugar and Cream. It's my absolute favorite. Um, I don't know why. I'm not really like a, a nude or neutral person when it comes to a lot of things, but I think it's just because it's got these shades of like orange and brown and green throughout it, which I think look really pretty. And since it's more simplistic, it goes with a lot more outfits, I feel. But I have mine almost done. I'm just finishing up the um, ties and top band. I ran out of yarn for it. So I have to go into my stash to grab a new one. But, or to buy, grab a new skein. But for Gibby's, he was napping, but he's been napping all day. So it's okay that I woke him up. Um, but for him, I'm going to make him a matching one. Hey, 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 pop up. Ready? So if you look, I can put this on him. It's a little large for him. But I think if I make it a little smaller, it'll look so cute. I think I'm doing about six rows probably because I think that I'll sit at a good point on him. I'm planning to do probably about six rows uh, just for him. This one is 12. Honestly, I feel like I could have gone to 13, but I was like, I don't know, 12 is a fine number. So yeah, there's that. Um, that's what I'm planning on. I think I might film a TikTok for that actually. But my main goal for today is to finish the virus shawl. This guy today, he's looking good, very pretty, very beautiful. Um, I typically try to make these the length of my arm span because I know it'll fit me and anybody under me, <laughs> under my height. I'm about 5'6". Um, it depends who you ask, but I'm about 5'6". So, uh, currently I'm working on this. I only have about, oh my gosh, this is stuck in my winder too. This is what happens when you don't organize things. But, I only have about this much left of the brown. So I'm hoping I can finish one whole repeat, which means I'll just need to get to this edge here where it has like the double crochet, skip one, double crochet, this final one here. I just didn't be able to get to that point. And I do have a second skein of this and then I can just pull the brown from it if I want and do it that way. But then this will be done. And that is so exciting that it'll be done finally. Um, and once it's done, I need to weave in the ends, which will be only like one or two. And then I'll add it to my pile. So I'm hoping to finish this guy first, start it and finish it. And then do the bandana or do the other way around. I don't really know. I think the bandana would be easier to start and complete just because. Today's plan then is just to do the bandana, film the TikTok for it, post that hopefully today, and then finish the virus shot tonight as well. And then if I finish both of those, the only thing I have to do tomorrow is finish editing this and work on the cardigan that I showed. You didn't see it in this clip video, but I showed you in the, um, or will be showing you in the Joanne Hall video. Um, I'll show you it tomorrow, obviously, but you get the point. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today. Hey guys, um, so to fill you in for tonight, it's currently 6.30 and I'm super tired, but I finished both projects. Let me show you. So I finished, I finished this bandana all the way. Give it a second to focus, there you go. Has its ties and everything. And then uh, I made <laughs> this small version for Gibby. And he's so cute. It looks so cute on him. Um, I'll insert a clip here of him wearing it. But, um, yeah, so I finished both of those and I was really happy about it. I need to figure out a way to incorporate this color yarn into something for my husband to wear so that the three of us can wear it together. And I think it would be so cute. And I finally finished the virus shawl. Completely finished. 
weaved in all the ends and everything. And then, you know, I've seen some people wear it like this. Oh, here, hold on. I've seen some people wear it like this. And then I've also seen, sorry, I'm kind of sick. Oh. And then I've also seen, like when it's colder out, you take it, you bunch it up a little on the sides. So you still got the point in the center. And you just flip it around. You still really get a good um, print of the pattern. Looks great. I'm really happy with this actually. The other one I have, let me show you. Alright, so this is the original one. This one uses the Warlock colorway. Um, I am not as big of a fan of it as I am the one I just made. I think I used a tighter hook and that's why the color like duplicates or you know goes back over itself and the other one doesn't. But yeah, so I'm really happy about that. I think this is all for tonight. Hi guys, um, today is April 5th um, and it's currently 4.30. Um, I had kind of a shit day at work. So, uh, I'm a little bit not in the mood to do anything. But I am going to finish a, um, one of the drink sleeve sets. I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I might have mentioned it in the Joanne video, but not this one. So you'll see that next week. But, uh, one of the things I'm planning on selling are these, like, drink sleeve sets. This is more of a pink. I don't know why it's showing up red. Um, let's see if it'll focus. There you go, there's that one. And then this one's honestly my favorite. Uh, this is Berry by Lily Sugars and Cream, and then this one is a uh, Garden Party. So I need to make a third one for it. I think I'm gonna use something that's similar to one of these two purple tones. So either this lavender or this dark purple. Let me show you what I have. Okay, so uh, compared to this guy, I have two purples that'll work. We have, we have this lavender. Or I think it's actually lilac, I don't know. But if we compare it, it's fairly similar. This is a little more purpley, while the lavender here is a little more pink. So I don't know if it'd be a perfect match, but I think it'd still work. Um, just like how that berry one is a little bit darker of a pink than this shade. So I think it might work. But then I also have ooh, this purple, which is called dark orchid okay so that first one was orchid and this is dark orchid and then again if we compare it it's not really an exact match but i think i think i'm gonna go with that lavender that's the only color i have close enough because this just isn't close enough to match like at all but if we hold up this guy he fits enough in the color scheme to where i think it works um but yeah so i'm gonna work on finishing this set today i just have to make the third one um, here, I'll show you what they look like too, once they're on the cups. So like, this is like an old Starbucks cup I have. It just sits there. Looks fairly nice. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna make, uh, finish that set, and then I'm gonna start a set as well that's like that, but it's going to use, but instead, um, it's going to use this yarn which is the Crown Jewels Ombre, I believe. Uh, the Crown Jewels Ombre uh, from Lily Sugars and Cream. I have a teal that will work pretty well, I think. Um, I think I wanna do one as, uh, or one of the two colors teal, uh, like the one of the two solid colors for this, teal. And then I wanted to do one of them pink, but, or not pink, like purpley to match like one of these two purples. Give me a second. So either this like more magenta y purple or like this lavender hair here. Um, I'm not sure though. Again, the only purples I have are like this one, which, come on, focus. Doesn't really go with it. Or this one, which I worry will just be too dark overall. Let me know what you think on which one I should use if either of those purples. Um, 
but I also have like a mint, like it's called sea glass or beach glass, one of the two. And it's like a bright minty blue that might work, but I'd just be worried that that's too much like blue tones with the teal, that blue, and then this. Um, but let me know what you think I should use uh, or which one you'd prefer out of those two purples for this set specifically. Um, but yeah, so it's my plan to work on that today. you just saw in that last clip I finished up the third um, drink sleeve I don't really think I'm gonna do much more crocheting today I just had a really hard day with my day job um, and I kind of just want to veg I think I'm gonna play some games I'm gonna see if I can convince my husband to play Stardew Valley with me I love Stardew Valley so much it's kind of a problem anyway um, so we're gonna recap kind of quickly everything we made this week kind of how I feel regarding all of it um, and then go from there. So the first thing we did this week was make um, two of these bandanas. We made two in the normal rainbow colorway. There we go. Uh, and this is using a granny stitch and pico edges. That's what this edging is called. Uh, Picos. Let's focus. There we go. Um, they're called pico edges. These are some of them actually my favorite bandanas I've made so far. Color-wise, style-wise, just the way they sit. Perfect. The only thing I'm not really a fan of uh, is this is acrylic yarn, so it's not machine washable. It can be kind of itchy. Um, I tested one of these. It doesn't feel very itchy to me, but other people are more sensitive to acrylic than I am. Um, so we made two of the plain rainbow. Then we made two of the... Um, descending rainbow or inverse rainbow or reverse rainbow I don't know what word I'm really going to use there yet but same concept same idea just started with purple and at the pink versus starting with pink and ending with purple same idea though it has those pico edges as well we also made a total of six keychains or keychain key fob bracelets so we completed six of these in total there we go um this one is going to be called the flo the dainty floral um, and then this one is called um, Honey Bee Gray, I believe. Uh, I'm really happy with these. Um, I've been keeping this guy on my keychain all week. Um, I've been wearing that one on my keychain all week. I love it. Honestly, I'm probably going to keep it and just make a third one for the shop. Um, I have a bunch more of this fabric. I think I just need to cut it out so it's ready to go. Yesterday, as you know, we finished the virus shawl. Honestly, it's really beautiful. Um, I love it so much. It's so cute. I also finished yesterday. We also finished yesterday um, my personal bandana. And then the dogs, or Gibby. I call him the dog a lot of the time because not everybody knows his name. Um, and then we finished Gibby's. Uh, he looked adorable in it. I think you guys saw that clip. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love him so much in that look. Um, then, as you just saw, we finished this trio set finally. So that's really nice. Um, I thought about selling these in fours. I just don't think it'll work that well. But what I thought about doing for that was you have this uh, as the center row. You have one of the you have either this one or this one as rows two and four, and then the opposing one you have it as one in five of these. Um, uh, double bean stitches and I think they would just look really nice um, but if I sold them in four packs I'd have to price them a little higher and I kind of don't like the price they're at as it is um, but yeah 
Let me know if you guys do want me to go over pricing at all, how I personally choose to price things or my spreadsheet or anything like that. And then finally, and I say that as if it's only one item, we have all of the octopi I made this week. So we have the three, the three teal ones. <laughs> and then we also have oops, the pink one. I tried um, adding gray under his eyes to look like blush. I just don't like the way it turned out. Um, so I'm probably just gonna buy some red of the Sweet Snuggles from Michaels um, and use it exclusively as like blush from now on. Um, so I don't have to like this variation of like pink blush versus red blush and all of that. But yeah. And then we have, you've already seen most of these, but then we have all the solar, solid colored octopi. I'm just gonna pull out one of each for now. By solid color, I just mean that we didn't use a secondary color or have to tie another color to it. Uh, so we have these four, as you saw, but then I also finished this one today. He's pink and like a white. It's from, um, the yarn is from uh, Daiso, the like Japanese dollar store basically. Um, but that's where the yarn is from. Looks really cute actually. And then, last but not least, we have the five random octopi. They're also all not perfect size because they're slightly different um, yarn weights. So like those five I showed you, or the four, the orange, the yellow, the green, and the blue are with like a, they're technically a four weight, but they act more like a three, which means they act a little smaller. But things like this larger green one or the purple green yellow one, those are more of like a normal four weight. So they're a little bit larger. But well, I made these five, Ooh, as you saw throughout the week. He's pretty normal, except for his little butt, his little butt's green. But yeah, that's everything we completed this week. The only things we didn't complete were, um, I cut out those three fabrics to make the key fob bristlets. I just haven't finished them. I haven't really done anything with them. I think I'm gonna spend this weekend working on those, at least making one of each of those, and working on cutting the rest of my fabrics, making one of each of them, just so I can have them ready to go. But yeah, from there, that's it. Uh, feel free to subscribe to me, see what I'm doing. I think for like Wednesday of next week, you guys will see the Joann's uh, unboxing haul thing. It also includes me going through my yarn stash behind me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys wanna see. It was nice talking to you. See you, bye.